The 2012-13 season wasn't a vintage one for the Real Madrid first team, at least by the enormously high standards that they set themselves. Despite Cristiano Ronaldo scoring 55 goals in all competitions, Los Blancos got nowhere near Barcelona in the La Liga title race, with a 15-point gulf between the two teams, handing Barca their fourth La Liga title in the space of just five years. Meanwhile, a 4-3 defeat to Borussia Dortmund on aggregate in the semi-finals of the Champions League, with Robert Lewandowski scoring all four goals, ensured that Madrid would go more than a decade without being crowned as European champions. Whilst Barca's golden generation continued to steamroll through the Spanish game though, it wasn't all doom and gloom at the Bernabeu, since there was a sneaking suspicion that Los Blancos were harbouring a generation of extraordinary talent all of their own. Real Madrid's reserve team, Real Madrid Castilla, were playing some delightful football at the time, even defeating Villarreal's first team 5-0 in the Segunda Division, and a number of their players were being touted as future Real Madrid stars. So in today's video, I thought I'd take a look back at Real Madrid Castilla's class of 2012-13, starting with the 11 that played most frequently for the club that season, looking at how their careers have developed since then, and where those players are now, before a quick rundown of the rest of the squad. It must be said, some of the best players from that 2012-13 Real Madrid Castilla side, now at least, were not among the 11 that played the most games. Here is Real Madrid Castilla's highly rated 2012-13 team. Where are they now? Thomas Mejias and Carispor. We start with one of the more senior members of that squad, Thomas Mejias, who was 23 years old when that season began and is 32 years old now. Born in Madrid, Mejias joined the La Fabrica youth ranks at Real Madrid as a 12-year-old and he went on to play for Real Madrid's C team, B team and indeed their first team. He only ever made one appearance for Los Blancos, coming on 10 minutes from time in a 4-0 win against Real Zaragoza. Middlesbrough fans will be familiar with Mejias, who left Madrid for the northeast of England in 2014, where he was reunited with his former coach Aitor Karanka. He barely played for Borough across two stints at the club though, and in January 2021, he joined Ankaraspor in the TFF First League. His debut half-season in Turkey ended in disappointment as the 6-foot-4-inch Spanish number 1 was powerless to prevent his side from getting relegated to Turkey's third tier. Fabinho Liverpool A fantastic defence midfielder and destructor these days, Fabinho spent the 2012-13 season as a regular full Real Madrid second string, playing predominantly as a right-back. The Brazilian did occasionally deputise at centre-back, but Castilla and first-team coaches at Real Madrid have since conceded that they failed to ever see a future for Fabinho playing in midfield. It was during his time at Monaco that Fabinho transitioned from fullback to dynamic midfielder, where he played so well that Liverpool forked out £39 million to sign him in 2018. Fabinho has since established himself as a key man at Anfield covering at centre-back at times last season during various injury crises, but looking at his most effective at the base of a three-man midfield. David Mateos, the strongest. Whilst there were lots of very talented young players in Real Madrid Castilla's squad during the 2012-13 season, their centre-backs were actually quite experienced older heads, relatively speaking at least. David Mateos is another Madrid native, full name David Mateos Ramajo, and like Thomas Mayas, he played for all three open-age Real Madrid teams, that is, the C team, B team, and the first team. Jose Mourinho spoke in glowing terms about Mateos' defensive credentials and his ability to play the ball out from the back, but the local lad only ever made two appearances in the Real Madrid first team. He has become fairly nomadic since leaving Real Madrid in 2013 in truth, playing for seven different clubs in four different countries, and even in four different continents. The 34-year-old who represented Spain at under-17 level 16 years ago recently signed for the Strongest, who are one of the strongest clubs in Bolivia. Ivan Gonzalez, retired. I told you we had a couple of older heads at centre-back, and though Ivan Gonzalez is actually a year younger than David Mateos, he is the only retired player from Real Madrid Castilla's 2012-13 team. Brought to Real Madrid Castilla from Malaga in 2011, initially on loan but then on a permanent, Gonzalez was another centre-back who was comfortable on the ball, 
So much so that Manuel Pellegrini actually tried to convert him to playing in holding midfield. That didn't work out though, and Gonzalez lasted just two seasons at the Alfredo de Stefano Stadium, never registering a first team appearance for Los Blancos before heading off to play in the second Bundesliga. Once linked with moves to European giants such as Atletico Madrid, Liverpool, and Hull City before his move to Real Madrid, and I'm not making that up, it's even on his Wikipedia page, Gonzalez retired in 2020 at the age of only 32, following two seasons with Recreativo. Jorge Casado, Rayo Maharajonda. You could be forgiven for thinking that this didn't sound like that much of a golden generation at this stage, with the exception of Fabinho. But not every highly tipped youngster becomes a bona fide star in the senior game, and it would be fair to say also that Real Madrid Castilla's hottest talents eight or so years ago were primarily forward players. Jorge Casado was their dependable, if not particularly spectacular fullback, who never represented Spain at any youth team level, nor did he ever make a first team appearance for Real Madrid. Casado joined Real Betis ahead of the 2014-15 season, in which the club from Andalusia won the Segunda Division title, though Casado was swiftly moved on. Now aged 32, these days, Casado finds himself playing for Rayo Mahara Honda in the newly established Primera Division RFEF, which is the third tier of Spanish football. Pedro Mosquera, Huesca. A holding midfielder who was quite highly rated at Real Madrid, Pedro Mosquera represented Spain at under 16, 17, and 19 level. A gifted deep-lying playmaker who rarely looks flustered on the ball and has an impressive range of passing, Mosquera's only first appearance for Real Madrid came as a substitute for one of the best in the business created in his mould, namely Xabi Alonso. Following 10 years at Real Madrid, having joined the club from Deportivo La Coruña as a 12-year-old, Mosquera departed in 2010 in a move to Getafe. He has spent most of the past decade playing for bottom half La Liga teams, but aged 33, he now plays for Huesca, who were relegated from La Liga last season, and therefore compete in the Segunda Division. Alex Fernandez, Cadiz. The younger brother of Real Madrid centre-back Nacho Fernandez, who is better known simply as Nacho, the two brothers both graduated from the La Fabrica youth ranks, but whilst Nacho has gone on to make more than 200 appearances for the Real Madrid first team, with whom he has won four Champions League titles, Alex left the club in 2013, following just one first-team appearance. A star man for Spain at youth team level, Alex is an expansive attacking midfielder who actually played eight games for Reading whilst they were in the championship back in the 2015-16 season. It took regular first-team football at Elche, followed by a move to Cadiz, for the playmaker to really settle down within the senior game, and he is now a star man for the La Liga side, having enjoyed a fantastic start to the season with two goals from Cadiz's opening three games, both coming against Osasuna. Juanfran, Alaniaspor. Not to be confused with Atletico Madrid favourite Juanfran, who most recently played for Sao Paulo, although he too came through the Real Madrid youth ranks, the Juanfran, who starred for Real Madrid Castilla in the 2012-13 season, has still enjoyed a very respectable career, just not quite at the same level as his namesake. Born in Madrid, but a product of the Getafe youth ranks, who joined Castilla from Villarreal's B team, Juan Fran is capable of playing anywhere down the right flank, but it was on the right wing rather than a right back that he played most frequently in the 2012-13 season. In four seasons in the Real Madrid B team, Juan Fran racked up close to 140 appearances, but he only ever made two appearances in the Real Madrid first team against Osasuna and Levante. He is now a regular for Alanya Sport in the Turkish Super League, following stints with Real Betis, Watford and Deportivo La Coruña. Borja Garcia, Girona. Signed by Real Madrid Castilla in 2012, following a genuinely outstanding season in the Segunda Division with Cordoba, in which he scored 19 goals from midfield, Borja Garcia set Los Blancos back a whopping 1 million euros. He was one of Castilla's star men during his debut campaign, scoring 9 goals and making 5 assists but he failed to push on the following season and never made a first-team appearance for Madrid. Age 30, Borja has only played for two teams since then, Girona and Huesca, and following a single season with the latter last season, he is now back in Catalonia, 
where he has previously played his best football, having returned to the club this summer. Denis Cheryshev, Valencia. It's here at the top end of the pitch that we start to see some of Real Madrid Castilla's real star men from that 2012-13 cohort, and some of their most accomplished former players now. Denis Cheryshev certainly fits both of those descriptions, having scored 11 goals and made 8 assists in 35 games for the Segunda Division side that season from the left flank, and now starring for Valencia. The talented Russian, who was born in the city of Nizhny Novgorod just before the fall of the Soviet Union, he moved to Spain at the age of 5 when his dad, who was also a professional footballer, signed for Sporting Gijón. Cheryshev Jr. joined the Real Madrid Academy at the age of only 11 and quickly became the man that many Russians pinned their hopes on for the next generation. Though he was outstanding for Russia at youth team level and for Real Madrid Castilla, Cheryshev has only won 33 caps at senior level at the age of 30 and went on to make just 7 appearances in the Real Madrid first team. An excellent technician who can sometimes be found a little bit wanting in terms of his end product Cheryshev left Los Blancos to join Villarreal in 2016, before signing for his current club and Villarreal's near neighbours Valencia, firstly on loan in 2018, and then on a permanent basis in 2019. Jesse Rodriguez, Las Palmas. There was some incredible talent in Real Madrid's 2012-13 B team, some of whom I have already mentioned, and some of whom are still to come. But at that time, there was no one more highly rated at the club than Hesse Rodriguez. Capable of playing anywhere across the front three at the time, Hesse tended to operate either on the left or through the middle, depending on Castilla's starting eleven on the day. He ended that season, which began when he was just 19 years old, with 22 goals and 12 assists from just 38 games for Real Madrid Castilla, looking an absolute class apart from everyone else in the Segunda Division at the time. As far as most coaches at Real Madrid were concerned, Hesse was a surefire bet for success in the first team, and not even the record-breaking arrival of Gareth Bale could halt his progression. The following season, Hesse did indeed make 31 appearances for Real Madrid, alongside Ronaldo, Benzema and Bale, scoring 8 goals and making 6 assists. Hesse went on to play 94 games for Real Madrid, playing 30-plus games in two Champions League winning campaigns, but still it seemed as though he hadn't progressed as hoped. And in the summer of 2016, Real Madrid accepted a €25 million Euro bid from PSG. It proved to be a masterstroke for Madrid and a nightmare for the Parisians. Not that they are particularly struggling for cash. For all his talent, Hesse was a disaster for PSG, Stoke, Real Betis and Sporting Club de Portugal. And eight years on, age 28, he is now back in the Segunda Division, a league which he tore to shreds as just a 19-year-old, playing for Las Palmas. That may be the 11 that played most frequently for Real Madrid Castilla in the 2012-13 season, but I think it's fair to say that it wasn't necessarily their 11 most talented players. The man from that squad who has enjoyed the greatest success within the senior game since is surely Casemiro who made 15 appearances for Madrid's B team that season, but is now closing in on 300 first-team appearances for Real Madrid, with whom he has become one of the best defensive midfielders on the planet. Elsewhere, Alvaro Morata scored a phenomenal 12 goals in just 18 games for Real Madrid Castilla that season, in addition to making 15 appearances in the Real Madrid first team. He has since transferred for about a gazillion pounds five different times, now on loan at Juventus, from Los Blancos' cross-city rivals Atletico. Then you've got Lucas Vazquez, who, like Casemiro, is still playing for Real Madrid, now closing in on 250 appearances for the club. There is former Schalke midfielder Omar Mascarell, who recently returned to Spain with Elche, prolific Espanol frontman Raul de Tomas, who set the club from Barcelona back 20 million euros when he arrived from Benfica, and Diego Llorente, who could never establish himself at Real Madrid, but was able to do so at Real Sociedad, and joined then-Premier League new boys Leeds United for £18 million this time last year. So that is it for today's video, and a wonderful video it was as well, if I do say so myself. Sure, it wasn't quite as good as the one about the lightning strike in DR Congo, or my deep dive into the troubles at Benfica. But in terms of videos, taking a look back at Real Madrid Castilla's 2012-13 squad, and where those players are now, you would have to say it is up there with some of the best on YouTube. 
Thank you all very much as ever for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. And make sure you're subscribed, of course, it goes without saying, to HITC7s and have notifications turned on. You can also find me on Twitter and on Instagram by the username at HITC7s on both, should you wish to do so.